for it? Are you ready for it? I like to watch movies in my free time. Favorite genre is definitely Disney. I love Disney movies. Well, you know how men are. They think no means yes and get lost means take me, I'm yours. <laughs> if I could be any superhero, I would be Elastigirl from Incredibles. Because she has a family and she's still able to have a superpower that's very helpful. I became a student ambassador because I wouldn't have met all the people that I have if I wasn't doing that. Um, like all the professors, all the teachers, I wouldn't have had a relationship with them like I do now. Well, when I give tours and people say they remember me, it, it's like a motivator kind of. It's like I want to go and do it again. I want to help somebody else come here and I want to be impactful to them. So it's going to be really cheesy, but it's really honest. I think I'm really going to miss my professors because uh, I have built like a reputation and relationship with them and I really really like that. I really like that about the school that they care about you. Uh, they don't just care that you're a number in a classroom and how well their statistics look. They care that you succeed. Uh, so I'm looking forward to just you know being in my future and getting them involved and saying like look at what I'm doing now. So I think you know that's what I'm gonna miss the most. wear Old Spice, you're more manlier than a bear in a garden. Get some Old Spice, you know what I'm saying? No? Yeah? Okay, cool. In a day, I run about anywhere from 13 to 22 miles. Fitness has impacted my life where it gives me confidence and it allows me to be more outgoing with people, I feel like. If I had a superpower, it would definitely be the ability to make the best tuna noodle casserole. Tuna noodle casserole is a casserole with noodles and tuna and all sorts of other wonderful things that make it the best. And of course, some extra ingredients that are, you know, secrets. What I will miss most about Waldorf is the community, the overall experience of having small class sizes and being able to get to know everybody around you and on campus in general. And that's just a wonderful experience to be able to have. Waldorf is a family. If my friends <laughs> could describe me, they would probably say I am obnoxious. Always laughing for no reason. <laughs> I picked biology as my major because my mom was a nurse, so I always um, was around, um, you know, like the medical field, and I just knew that that's what I wanted to be in. I've been in choir since I got here, which has been a one full year. My dad actually led me to singing. He told me that I had to do it, you know, that I was wasting my gift that God made me. It just became a part of me and it kind of is the only reason I can get through everything. I kind of just understood what it meant to be loved. It was different. It wasn't like a, like a love that you get from your friends or like a love that you get from people who just know you or it's different. It's like a, it's like a love where anything you do, you're you're going to be accepted and you're going to be praised because you're created for that one reason, is to worship.
My friends would describe me as animated and crazy, probably, and loving and caring, and I just like to laugh. My laugh is pretty obnoxious. I'm pretty sure everyone here on campus has heard my laugh. <laughs> When I'm on stage, I am no longer Tony. When I'm performing, I'm not Tony. I am whatever character I'm playing. And that's, I think that's what I really love about performing in general. Most people ask me like, don't you get nervous? I love people looking at me and just, I'm just the center of attention is my favorite thing. It was the adrenaline that I felt. That was when I realized that this is what I want to do. Like I've always loved performing and acting and I was out there and it was so much fun. Just talking about it, just, oh, I love it so much. Waldorf is family to me. Waldorf is a place that I know, even 10 years from now, I know I can come here and I can walk into Bob Offrance's office, walk into President Offset's office, and just kick back. One more. <laughs> we all have a bond because we are out here in the middle of Iowa, so it's like we only got each other, but yeah, family, definitely family. It's a connection out here like no other, and I love it so much. I chose Waldorf because the people here were so inviting and it was a small um, small town feel for me because I'm from a small town of about 400. I also loved the comm department and all of the equipment that we had available to us. It felt like a little Hollywood to me. Recently I was promoted to um, station manager of Wall TV. It's just a great place to unleash your creativity and um, just get to have fun with those around you. Waldorf is home. From the first semester I've been here, I've called it home on accident so many times and it weirded me out at first, but um, it really is a place that I've learned to call home and I'm really glad that I've had the opportunity to come here and learn so much from the people around me. football team man I love it so much what I like most about the Warriors football team is the experiences I've gained with my brothers you know always found it the feeling of going through whatever adversity or you know 
struggle or you know just the good or the good times you know with uh a person who has the same goal in mind as you, you know, I, I, I cherish that, that feeling. And that's what I think being on this team, uh, that's the feeling that it, it's given me. I believe Waldorf is a place for you because you're able to, you know, learn a lot about yourself. Uh, my time here, I've done a lot of soul searching and I've been able to find answers about myself that I wasn't able to find back home. I think the biggest difference uh, for me between uh, California and Forest City, um, you know, back home, there's a, like, you, it's very easy to get lost in, you know, all the stuff you can do out there. I mean, you can't really just sit down and focus on one thing. Do out here though, you have to take it upon yourself and, you know, just focus on what you're doing in the there and now, you know. Waldorf is a place for you. Simple as that. Outside of sports, for fun, I like to watch scary movies, eat junk food, and take naps. I joined the Iowa Army National Guard, and I left for basic training the day after high school graduation. I would describe basic training as a, a hurry up and wait game, and uh, I could do five pull-ups when I got back. Can't do that anymore. I would continue to be in the National Guard because I think it's something that when I felt most down in my life, it gave me a purpose, and that is a consistent thing in my life that does make me proud. I became a health promotion exercise science major because I just enjoyed being around sports more, and helping people was important to me, so being able to incorporate both was something that I wanted to pursue. I came to play volleyball, I came to compete. I didn't know what I wanted to do. And when I got to Waldorf, priorities changed. My professors pushed me every day. I am excited for my future now and excited for my career. <laughs> my favorite thing is my roommates. That's my favorite thing about Waldorf because even if I'm having a bad day, they just say something completely off the wall and can either get my mind off it or help me vent through the situation. They make me a better person. I would describe myself as probably a crazy person, always talkative, always excited about everything I do. I try to give my best in everything, even though I'm not the greatest I know sometimes. When I first got into the United States, I thought my life would be like a movie, something crazy. My life would be amazing. Everybody would know me and all that. That was never the thing I would imagine I would live here in the United States but it was a great experience because it completely changed my mind about a lot of things. This Brazilian dance that I usually do in parties and events is pretty famous in Brazil. It's one of the songs that really catch you and have their own choreography and I try to do in every event that I am because people like it and they dance with me, so I think it's funny. Waldorf is the best thing that happened to me in the last four years that I was here at the United States because it proportioned me things I would never get out of one university. My favorite thing about Waldorf is by far the people that I met here. They show me that life is way better than I thought. I would always uh, beat myself up a little bit and they show me that I have to have a little more confidence because other people have completely different backgrounds. They can come so far, so why can't I, you know? So I have to believe a little bit about myself and that's what people gave to me here at Waldorf. <laughs>